bowed and eyes closed. And you are saying whatever other people say, whatever other people do, whatever, whatever other people choose, I choose life tonight. I choose salvation tonight. I choose forgiveness tonight. And I choose the goodness of God for my life tonight. And wherever you are on this final day of days, Accra GCK, the Lord is saying, uh, make that deal with him. And look away from the past. Look away from how guilty you feel. Just choose Christ and his salvation. If you're choosing Christ, if you're choosing forgiveness, if you're choosing freedom, if you're choosing the grace of God, if you're choosing life in Christ, wherever you are now, just raise up that hand, I make my choice. I make my choice. The choice of life eternal. The choice of the grace of God that forgives and cleanses from all sin. I make my choice. Raise up that hand. I choose God. I choose grace. I choose salvation. I choose forgiveness. Raise up that hand. And as you are raising up the hand, you are not ashamed of Christ. Publicly, privately, you have the grace of God available for you. As you are raising up your hand, you can't stand up. I have made my choice. I have chosen life. I have chosen forgiveness. And the moment you choose, it's yours. The moment you choose that salvation, it comes. Raise up your hand and stand up. To my right, to my left, to my center, at the back, anywhere you are hearing the sound of my voice now, make a wise choice. And stand up. On the radio, make your choice. Over the television, make your choice. Online, anywhere, everywhere you are, make your choice right now. I have chosen life. We're going to pray together now. Father, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your compassion that even though we have sinned and gone astray, you are waiting for us. You are, you are saying all the paths will be blotted out if we just make the right choice of Christ our Savior tonight. Lord, all these who are raising their hands, all these who are standing here and everywhere, they have made the right choice. They have made the choice of life in Christ. According to your promise, which cannot fail, grant them forgiveness now in Jesus' name. Let him hear your amen. amen. Grant them the freedom now in Jesus' name. Amen. Grant them that salvation real now in Jesus' name. Amen. And let the joy of salvation come to every heart. A new life come to everyone. And Lord, let your beauty, the beauty of Jesus, be seen in their lives now, in Jesus' name. 
all your wondrous compassion and purity. Grant unto them now in Jesus' name. Spirit define, refine every nature of the people, even now in Jesus' name. As they have made the choice, and you have granted the choice, may the light of their life shine until everyone around can see the beauty of Jesus in them. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise God, it is done. We call on our moderating overseer tonight to help us during this time of counseling. And then after that, we'll make the choice of healing. And whatever choice we make is going to answer as we pray for everyone. Your prayer is answered. Your confession has been your confession has been accepted by the Lord. Please we want the counselors to go to the people, give them the cars, assist them to feel and make sure that they put down the right name and the particulars. Please, all the workers, the choristers, please get up and go to the people. Give them cars and help them to fill, please. The choristers should join, please. Please, the counselors should approach them, get to them, and make sure that right particulars are taken. They have made the greatest decision of life. And it is our duty to ensure that they continue in that decision all the days of their life. Please, the choristers, get up, go to the people and assist to fill the forms. The counselors, Get to them, make sure that the right particulars are taken. The regional overseers also should be around to give proper direction to the people. It's very, very important that we do it in the right way. If you are watching online and you gave your life to Christ after the pastor's message this evening, there is a link, gckhq.org, stroke connect. Below your player, click it and fill the form so we can assist you further in your new work with Christ. Also, if you are listening via the radio or television and you just gave your life to Christ and your name, send your name, phone number, and your location address via SMS. Or what's up to plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three? Let's be fast. Let's be fast. As we write the names of all the people who have decided for the Lord. 
Also, there is going to be a convert rally. There will be a special online banquet for all those watching online who gave their lives to Christ on Sunday, 30th April, 2023. More details about this will be sent to you. Our pastor will be delighted to have you join this special banquet. Thanks. Then Ghana Believers Banquet on Sunday, 30th April, 2023, at all Deeper Life Bible Church locations across the country. The time is 2 p.m. All those around the Alpha location, you'll be here at that time and be in the pavilion on my left. All those around. around. And we want the counselors, the workers to ensure that they are not going to wait till Sunday before you look for them. Right after this crusade this night, you do proper follow-up on them, you pray for them, and you make sure that on that day they will be present at their various places for the banquet. Please, if you are true, you can signify for me to see. The counselors, if you are true, let's know. All over, take proper particulars of the converse, in the Alpha location here, and also all over the globe wherever people have decided for the Lord, they are precious in the sight of God. The counselors, they are waiting for you to make us to know whether you are true. Write your correct name, the place you are living. If there's any popular thing, maybe a church building, or anything popular that will make the people to locate you, put it down. Yes, the counselors. Okay. Then let's stand up and wait for our convener as he comes to pray for your healing, your deliverance, and all the blessings we are expecting the Lord to do for you. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Your choice. Whatever you choose, you get tonight in Jesus' name. I choose healing. Say it now. 
I choose health. I choose deliverance. I choose dominion. I choose the power of God. And that power of God will come in Jesus' name. I choose miracle. Say it, say it, say it. You see, it's God himself that said, he invited us. That we should, we should choose life. And whatever we choose, he will confirm. On this final day of this six-day crusade, we're not going to choose life for today and choose life till the end of our lives. Yeah. Healing today, health for the rest of our lives. Deliverance today and dominion for the rest of our lives. What you choose, you have. What you ask, you receive. What you mention, that will happen. It's up the hand and lay the other hand where you have the challenge. Heavenly Father, we thank you. How gracious, how great you are. How glorious, how mighty you are. That you have left the choice in our hand. You have not predestined or to sickness or to infirmity or to weakness or to any debilitating disease. You have healing for everyone. Health for everyone. Deliverance for everyone. Dominion for everyone. Happiness and joy for everyone. You have told us to choose. We are making our choice now. Lord, everybody chooses healing. Grant them the healing. Send forth the healing to everyone now in Jesus' name. Everybody chooses deliverance. Send that deliverance to everyone now in Jesus' name. Everyone chooses miracle. And I pray that miracle they have chosen, send it forth to them in Jesus' name. Madness, there's no chance for you to be there anymore. Come out in Jesus' name. Blindness, there's no chance for you to be there anymore. Be healed in Jesus' name. And we're praying deafness and dumbness, no chance to remain there on that boy, on that child, on that man, on that woman. Let your ears be open now and your tongue speak out in Jesus' name. Broken bones, be mended, joined together right now in Jesus' name. And we're asking for those who are lame, those who are paralyzed, those who have any part of their body missing, and they choose total wholeness, heal them in Jesus' name. Every internal disease, every internal sickness, I command you now, come out in Jesus' name. Lord, make this day a great day of miracles for everyone. Glorious day of miracle for everyone. Right now, let there be great, great healing, deliverance, miracle everywhere. Here at the Alpha location, online, over the radio, over the television. Great, unforgettable miracle, healing, deliverance for everyone in Jesus' name.
Thank you, Lord. We we'll praise your name. We we'll glorify you. We we'll make a choice, and that choice is confirmed. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. And now shall have a safe place. That choice is confirmed. The healing power is confirmed. Your sickness is healed. Your oppression is broken. The devil has released his hold on you. Check your bodies right now. Check your bodies right now. If you see that you have received the choice of the Lord, you shout hallelujah. The healing virtue is flowing where you are. The healing is effected. As you see the miracle, you shout hallelujah, praise the Lord. And you begin to come out. You come out. You come out. You come out. The healing virtue is flowing. The healer is by your side. He has done his healing work. You are healed. You are healed. You are healed. You are delivered. You are delivered. You shout hallelujah. You shout praise the Lord. Then you begin to come forward. You begin to come forward. You begin to come forward. To, come forward to give your testimony to the glory of God. Yes. The power is everywhere. The healing power is flowing everywhere. Check your bodies. Check your bodies. Check your bodies. You will see the hand of the Lord revealed. You praise the Lord and you begin to come forward. Yes, 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 yes. 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 The healing is there where you are. Right there, right there, right there, right there. Counselors, bring them forward. All those who have received their healings, bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. The power of God is still manifested. It's flowing. It's working. The power of God is working. Wherever you are, check your body. You see that something has happened to you. Shall praise the Lord and begin to come forward. And begin to come forward to give your testimony to the glory of God and to the joy of all believers. Yes. Yes. Yes, the Lord has touched you. The Lord has touched you. The miracle is there. The miracle is there. Bring them forward. Bring them forward. The pastor should be there to interview them. The pastor should be there to interview them. The orchestra, you can give us a song.
Come out, come out to give your testimony. Come out, come out. The Lord has taught you, come out and give your testimony. All those you have interviewed, let them come forward. Come out, come out, come out. A power of God has been released. Healing has taken place. Deliverance is already there. All kinds of blessings are there. Check up. Check up. And begin to come forward. Check up and begin to come forward. Check up and begin to come forward. The people you have interviewed, bring them forth. Come out. The Lord has touched you. Come forward. Check up. Check up. Check up. And if you have any miracle, just shout praise the Lord. And you begin to come forward. Begin to come forward. Begin to come forward. Yes, yes. Something is happening there. Something is happening there. Come forward. Bring them forward. Yes, bring them forward. Bring them forward. Yeah, something is happening there. Yes, it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Bring them forward. Bring them forward. Bring them forward. Bring them forward. Yes, bring them forward. Yes. The Lord has touched you. Please come forward. And share your testimony to the glory of God. Wherever you are, don't 
go back with your testimony. Come and shame the devil. Thank God. Put your hands together for the Lord. Put your hands together for the Lord. Yes, come forward. Come forward. Let the testimony start now, please. Those that are ready, let's bring them. Let's bring them to start. Yes. Still examine your life. Do what you could not do before. Get up and jump. The power of God is still moving. The hand of the Lord is still touching people. Online. Let's hear testimony online now. Okay. The power Apollo. of God is evident as indeed we are experiencing glorious visitation online. As we bring you this striking testimony from Abuja, we are Mr. Roland Obuseli is thanking God for how God um, saved him and delivered him. He said he had severe difficulty in walking which started around December 2022. The problem continued and became worse, and he was placed on adult pampas and couldn't move around at all. But after the prayer of the man of God, he received his healing. Yes, let's hear the testimony directly from his mouth. When uh, our mother came, my sister, I was having difficulty of working working out to greet them because he was one of my colleagues in the office when I was working. But uh, he came and met my, my current condition, almost paralyzed to the weight. I, can, I cannot walk. I have difficulty in walking and even going to the toilet. I will use pampas. Uh, as an adult, I find everything very difficult because it was terrible. The pain was it's very excruciating. Very, very much. So, Pastor Mole saw me and had pity on me and told me that he would connect uh, Pastor Kumri, who was on. The delicate tour, the Togo, and they will be praying for me. And he said, he will also be interceding. So, how that is how I found myself. Later on, I gained myself, and I started walking, even without a walking stick. So, that is how the miracles came. And I thank God. His message. So you help us to run again, help us to run, help us run to us, run to us, run to us, run to us, run, 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 thank God, thank God. Help us to run to outside, yes. God has done it. Congrats, congrats. Walk around, walk around, walk around, walk around, walk around, walk around. Praise the Lord. Sister Chidema Gabriel has been struggling with stomach pains for the past six days. But after the prayer of the convener, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui, she has received her total healing. Praise the Lord. Indeed, the power of God has also um, moved from Africa to the United Kingdom as Sesson and Caroline is saying, Praise the Lord for his healing power that visited me tonight. I was totally delivered from flu through the prayer from our Father in the Lord. Praise the Lord. Brother Okran Isaac from Kumasi also testifies of relief from waist pains. As the convener of GCK, 
prayed during this evening program, he has received his total healing. Praise the Lord. And also all the way from Nigeria, Jimmy Itoye is saying, praise the Lord. I have been living a terrible life filled with affliction and torment from the devil. I have not been able to sleep for several nights now due to bad dream and horrible immigrations. And these have affected my health so badly that I could no longer reason and talk properly. Even my family got tired of me. He said his life had been a mess to the extent that his daughter angrily took him back to his elder brother's house out of frustration. And guess what? The elder brother who also got tired took him to the venue of the program where he heard the man of God. He said he listened to the man of God that night. He surrendered his life fully to God. And after the prayer of the man of God, something happened to him. The oppression and the affliction disappeared. And he said, since that Friday night till today, he can no longer experience the oppression of the devil anymore. Praise the Lord. Edwin Abeka has been troubled with cold and Qatar for the past two days. But after the last amen by the convener, he has received his total healing. Praise the Lord. And now we return to the Alpha location as we bring you more testimonies online. Yes. Praise the Lord. Okay, praise the Lord. So we have here George Padmon from Obwasi has a testimony uh, on a condition called periorbital cellulitis. Please give your testimony. Me pa chow. Me ba ne George Padmo. Be tu manti niye. Akula ne soli ane ne ni ba kona hono. E ye se kwa na e kwa ba koso. Sa anti. Tuesday no ye ba no. Na ne ni no na state hono. Na misi e. Obi a ye ko crusade na we ni ye sa huni. Ma ampa ba. And Thursday na ye bahano. Na kurana ni na huno. Eno ye tika ma ye ba ni ye nuru hampo. Eno se ma. And ti sa uko pasta kumi wa ye su be nyan kwa jie. Na me se aay. Ye su be se nya yale sa. Eno me se aay. Eno se ma. Eno ye me ni ne ko. Eno me se ey. Na ye nuru hampo na si si ya wudi ya dansi ye. We ni insu wa ho wa se me si ya ko. And ti fly day no. Ya ba ya na kura na ni na ya kase pa fe na me wira kula ho se na ni na ya sa enti adi a chia ya ba ya ya bompa ya ya Friday na nyumle ya bompa ya pastor bompa ya na anusi ya wase ma fa wenta kame ni ni she eko ena msi junior weni na unko ya na waho wase msi ya ko ena msi ame ujidi ya nyu unko ampeni ampa ya sorry Saturday no na na ni na che kula. Amen. Truly, we are serving a God of wonders. This is our sister's son had a problem of the eye, swollen eye, that have been disturbing him. By the grace of God, he trusted in the Lord. As a child as he is, he, he believed that when he came to this program, Pastor Kui will pray for him and he will be healed. As the sister came by Friday, the case was worse, but through the prayer of the man of God. The child claimed his healing, and by Saturday, the sickness was gone, and so he is free Amen. now. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for the Lord. Please don't go. Wait for the testimonies. Someone testimony can bring healing to you, can bring deliverance to you. Wait and hear all these testimonies so that you grow in your faith. Still examine your, uh, your, uh, yourself. Check, 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 check the parts that were paining you. The Spirit of the Lord is still moving with the power of God. He's still touching people. And when you say you come forward and give your testimony, Let's hear the next testimony. So this is Esther Salah, 28 years old. Please speak. She, she has a striking testimony. Very important. Please speak. Okay. Yes. My name is Esther Salah. I come from Ashaiman, the Lebanon district. I have two testimonies, actually. 
So the first one, I'm not a member of this church. This is my first crusade, actually, where I've been. I started Deeper Life Church last year, December. So it was my first, there was a crusade going on in that month. And then I decided to join the crusade and then watch. But before I would even go for the crusade, I went to church. And then from the afternoon, I didn't feel well in my knees at all. It was so painful that there was a different thought of not going for the crusade. But then I pushed and went. So pastor finished praying. And then he came in for the last healing prayers. And then he said that by the end of the last saying, the last amen, we will be fine. I believed it so much. So my hands were on my knees. And then when he got to the last amen, I prayed it. I said it. And by the time I could realize, I've not seen some before. Me who be that? By the, and then when he finished, I could not feel the pain anymore. It was gone. Amen. And then the second one, I've had this challenge for 10 years now. I've been to hospitals. I don't know which hospital is in Ghana that I've not been to. I've been to all of them. Went to Cape Coast. I attended University of Cape Coast, so I went to the teaching hospital in Cape Coast. They made me go for a scan of the head, but then they didn't see what the problem was. I had to come home again. And then, still going for the hospitals, they sent me, they referred me to Kolebu. And then, I, they also didn't know. I had to go for MRIs, even spinal puncture. It was not small. The money is involved. That was when they came up with the problem that it was multiple sclerosis. Yes, minti bida. I've not heard it before. So I was telling the doctors that, hey, what is that? Then they were telling me of the effects and all that. But then on Wednesday, before I came here, I believed, it, I believed God so much. I told him, Father, I've loved you all this while. I've said to you all this while. Inti, why are you making all this happen to me? And then on the Wednesday, Bishop came, Pastor came, and he prayed again. After he finished praying, I just felt some cold wind um, around my leg. I didn't understand. But then I knew the Lord had visited me. And till now, I am able to do bits on my own. Earlier, I became like a baby. Amen. Everything I needed assistance, but Amen. then to the glory Amen. of God. So, with the condition we've... she's explaining, it's very important for us to know that multiple sclerosis is a neurological condition that can even cause blindness and paralysis. She could see that by the grace of God, she, she, uh, as I interviewed her, she said she came in with an aid, but now she could see that she can walk. Please walk for them to see. Just. Yeah, it's it's a very put your hands together serious condition. for the Lord. So that's why. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Yeni abano afia chair mo no ko yensi mo asi e wa busumi dumi enu na o wa hutu chobi o sofo bom pa ye ni yadi anu ko e a chair o sa benya ya rebia se ni adopta for chair chair mo no e kana adri etimi mo anya ni fra. It me money and mubuo na abribiana fetch and so be so no moon and san or to me a yeah or so ye nyamia doom nyami to me nyami co croco nyamian ni to me and sada and na and you mre baba sunny asha yenya by ama one yani fa hu de cra hallelujah orchestra We are 
are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Oh, we are saying thank you, Jesus. We are saying thank you, Jesus. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Everywhere he went, he was doing good. The mighty healer, he healed the lepers. When the cripples saw him, they started walking. Everywhere he went, my Lord was doing good. Amen. Let's listen to the next testimony. Yeah, I have here Deborah Lumo from Teteko. Please speak. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. I want to testify about God's healing with ulcer. Um, it was in 2016. I was diagnosed with ulcer. They did an H. pylori test and they said I had ulcer. I was feeling, when it happens, I have severe pains with bloating, especially when I don't eat. And then maybe when I eat spicy foods. So in 2016, they did the H. pylori test. They even wanted to do endoscopy, but someone advised uh, that I shouldn't do that. So now I've been battling with it. Even, and um, when we came to this uh, crusade, the very first day, I received my healing. But I wanted to test myself. I didn't want to. I, maybe someone will call it doubt, but I just wanted to test myself. So the second day, I didn't eat from morning till I think somewhere four to five. And I didn't feel the pain. In fact, I was busy. Most of the times when I don't, it comes with pain and tiredness. When you don't eat, the pain will be there. The bloating will be there. And then you get tired. I get tired. I tested myself. It didn't, I didn't feel pain. Then I ate somewhere four. Then, I think that somewhere the next two days, I did a test again. Today, too, I just ate. And then I decided to come and share my testimony today. To the glory of God, I believe that I am healed. Amen. 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 Ama wanyana yari sa. Hallelujah. Amen. Just examine your, uh, yourself. Check, 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 check. The Lord is still moving with his power, touching people. And when you see that the Lord has delivered you, come forward and give your testimony. Let's, uh, let's hear from orchestra. Everywhere he went, he was doing good. The mighty healer, he heals the lepers. When the people saw him, they started walking. Everywhere he went, my Lord, he was doing good. Everywhere he went, he was doing good. The mighty healer, he heals the lepers. When the people saw him, oh, they started walking. Saw him, they started walking everywhere he went. Amen. The Lord is still doing good. Let, let's listen to the next testimony. Praise the Lord. Nyame Oyekesi. Amen. Me da si dini de me ba ba kro me intu me inka ni tinti zanyanko pwa ya ma me ne me ka ne me ba no. Nukuni dinu tu kwai ko Iraq ne infat ne mini muhushi na wote no kwai infat atiti anga sana film na unke bibili ya yemalansu mdimi ureshe ni anku pumu 
na bofrana e da mensa ka na metu me nyene ka se no eh by the grace so pain kumi me ka chen do ayo nte in message nyame adum abofrana o te in message o jina do bom pai na se ma abofrana eh abrofono oba obi sam da bi etu me na ewo me mu enkan ka meti e so pain na o se be etu me na ewo papa ni mu na o dele kasa no nchire na obra me be she dina se almost made the one man tin na mentin nka biem San or more ton a mo be full fru bio. And tina may bom pie de e she dina sa ha may bano. Nyan kupon on yen senchrenzi o man en sado. Mo mame hawu en kamedo. O sando no na wachi chri me yure ne de ma bri me tu me jina ha mo. Na me be ni na ne me bom pai ne nya mina dum ane da o bras of pin o bom pai we ni na ne me gudu me bom pai. Na me kwai no na nyankopon kama kuma de me fro bi ne me kan kire ne direct there me hia bofra no onfa bofra ne mbrem be you know bo ina no apia o si nyame ya doma in to two month time no we prepare ne what na ba ne in fact e bru ma twi ne me ntia si do ne me tumu hu de ye waze nyankopon ehira ye we ne me kan hye nyankopon nyim nyam amen na me ji nyankopon di de za be in wa kan nyankopon be ma ye hosu wo yesu di mu amen amen our sister had a daughter who went to iraq with her husband she was not hearing from her eventually he got in contact she directed her to listen to our father in the lord and by the grace of god the power of god was working in her and the people there recognized that. Well, but one month, he couldn't hear from her again. By the grace of God, he got into contact, told the husband she needs the daughter back home. The husband has promised to bring the daughter home. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's listen to online. Online testimony. Praise the Lord. Equia Wills from Kumase is giving her testimony. She has been suffering from breast tumor over the past few months, and she was instructed by the doctor to go for a surgery. But after the prayer of the convener on Friday, she went back to the hospital, and the tumor is gone. Everything has vanished. Praise the Lord. Indeed, things are vanishing. As Omota, your glory from YouTube is saying, praise the Lord. Uh, she's thanking God because abnormal swelling in my abdomen, so she has had, she, um, had that for some months. After the prayer of the man of God, she said, it is gone. Praise the Lord. Hebziba from Kumase is testifying of healing from tumor in the head, also healed of lumps in the body and breast. Praise the Lord. Patience Ibitoye is saying, praise the Lord. I want to thank God for his healing upon me, ranging from waist pain, moving objects under my breast, and growth on my leg. But after the prayer of the man of God, everything disappeared. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hannah Ousu also testifies of relief in breast pain after the prayer of the convener. Praise the Lord. And now we return to the moderating overseer. Yes. Orchestra. Uh, testimony. Yes. Let's hear testimony. Okay. So I have Richard Frimpong from Kasua here. Please speak. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 25th August 2021, I was in an accident. 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 I was in and to make cash in your coupon, when I'm so I be a mammy baby. I think so now on some court some boy, because three months time you were surgery circle, a implant, you know, and to be done your coupon, I say, what do I am, amen. The power of God will never fail. Our brother had accident about two years ago while traveling to Kumasi. 
His legs were broken, including broken hands. But by the power of the Lord, he has been delivered on the fourth day of this global crusade. Glory be to the Lord. Yeah, can you Amen. please walk for us to see? Walk. Give us a walk, please. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you. Put your hands together. Put Amen. your hands. See him walking. See him walking. Amen. See him Amen. walking. See him walking. God is good. The next testimony. Please continue to check yourself. So this is Francis. And you Kofi make Amo. sure that yeah, if there is Francis any Kofi Amo, popularly known as Old Soldier. May we ask you for you. May this uh, overseer, your yeah, pastor, appear seven. Be in fear, no money. Nasasabro <laughs> Amen. Our brother is from Asifosu in Ghana. He had rheumatism for the past five years. He has suffered excruciating pain all these years. But glory be to God, God has touched him as he came for this crusade through the prayer of the man of God, and he is healed. And you are healed permanently in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's listen to the next testimony. So we have here Joyce Asari from Mansung, Mansung Ekwapong, please speak. Praise the Lord. I am from Joyce Asari, I am Mansung Ekwapong, and I am from Division, and I am from District. I remember that, that now, now me wa how be me can say free JHS 2002 yana na Ghana ha ye try exams me say amre ni na me was severe menstrual pain anya asam ketwa na me ka say man tam ho de madane calendar ye can come me call yes yes ye ka say guest prefect na ya ready ah na ya say the opay area na ya say guest prefect no ya say the opay area na na ya tam me ye ya de matter come near per school driver ya de matter to hospital she say e bon suo nyina e ma me ni nyina mo nyame adom ya bo empire so for kumi global crusade no last two years that was september yeah yeah crusade was be here or be found so to ade ya mo won say that now bad in the india na me timi nyina me na so me de me nsa me nya gidi e de me sa to my ass no ya bo empire ni wi ade last day me no say men strap in e fine hene say fine hene say say me numa drop be men says back we be e hu we ni de di kan rade aya ma me i say so lockdown ni mu that was 2020 April, April 3rd. And I'm going to my last born world, Dominance Hospital. Now, I'm going to call my banner, my D4 days, lockdown. I'm going to say, 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 i I'm a dad, bro. Sit in there, there. Now, I'm going to pound dumb. And also, last year, February, I don't see a global crusade. But the men sat home, I come and be near GG. A radio dumb, you're born by a new year. And some random question two times. I week in my doctor, I mentioned five times. And for my channel, I feel yeah, I did. I'm a question. I bet you know, 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 Last but not the least, Pastor Yodu. Now, me uh, nya miscarriage. I was having a banachi. Me go to the hospital. Me drew a me nya no fiancé. Me drew hospital doctor said me moja ni ni na asa. Enti me me kunu call lab. Enko ye moja huwa dunia. 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 Enko ye moja
Et c'est à faire des micros dans les mains. Ah, c'est Eh, pas d'avancer à la barre à la and miraculously the Lord supplied that blood for her. We give all glory to God in Jesus' name. Amen. Orchestra. Listen to the next testimony. Praise the Lord. Me da radiasi me fi kumase me ti ka ahin san zoon na ye ben she me ya se no na me bom pa ye afan ye ma bi hon na me pese radian bwa me na me to me bom pa me to me kasam pa no woni pa do mo obra me nferi ente ye ma kuma so de pa ye ha me na nu aye kwa workers eh program na se no e bra papa e bom pa ye no me hu se me ni pedua no me se saaye ma no nyina ne me ni pedua no nyina me se saaye na bra papa bom pa ye wi a ye ko bebi aye da no na ism ese me su ti sa me hu de wa me se ka wo ma ye pon a na o ma form bag na o mo ko no o mo nyina ne hwa me se ase ma me gina ha ke e ye no kure na me kasa kire om se ko amu fa so e ko no endi mbo adjumade no na me tu om fo te se wa nya twa hu hu ma de wo di ba ha no hu sa nka ansa na wa ko because jacob no bo fo ni tin tam ye ansa na ni saka ye Make us any man or monum, or be to me beside the other sister, why dear Irana, no more who dear me may ye, but in a minim said, dear papa, bomb fire, Miss Akawa, I saw it them hono. I was in your cupone and mammy for near Juma, it is that Daka Krakana Yako dem or Ted, Jeff and Honmunu, me and Ramitin or dem when you now can some little move one by one. First, Nami Ferris, eh, met to me a quadinani padomu, a cast as a moon. Name Sanya Cooper, while Mammy to me be a media coin, I make cash any day when you're a Our sister is from Kumasi when she attended the ministerial conference after the prayer of the man of God, what she has been desiring for to get the boldness to preach the gospel. The Lord has given her that power, and now he has no power. And he has no shame to preach the gospel. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The next testimony. Praise so the Lord. So we have Beatrice Afari here from Cape Coast. Please speak. My name is Beatrice Afari. I was having ovarian problems and I've been suffering from severe menstrual pains from the past seven years. But by the grace of God, last year, October, during the GCK, before the man of God prayed, when he said we should lay our hands at the place we are having problem. Even after, before the, the last amen, I, I felt a, a sharp pain. And from that time till now, I've been having no pain and then everything is regular. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. 
and no em nam so ema wo nya sa e ya no nyame ahye ne ho animo nyam oba ya o sofo bo mpa ye no sa e ya no nyina e ko e wo yesu christo di mu yo praise the lord hallelujah media dance e ahye o nyankopo animo nyam Medin de Margaret Siama, me free of Wasser region from my district. A dear young couple, I am a mini. A dear Roman Satia, I won't feel fever, a fever, Queenie. Now, medical hospital near to Chem, and a hospital near Cronoma, and you, yeah. Tama, a woo, yeah, no, men sunny dress row, and to men can't talk, and to me to me find your shame, friends, senior Macra. And so, Yamia Dom. And now, so for any bomb, pie, we are, you know, or cast will be an shan of honor, and what they are man for many an show, maybe an amistry and on quan and amistry. Now, me called Ruth, young in Reno. I me called Jaren, I'm whose I mean, son, I say. Now, say, a rather than a sarcame. It's an opay, the only one say, the Yamia, I mean, son, any me to me, one man, son, I dance with ya, a decay. Me called to a gentleman last two years. Eh, that is so jam, Doctor Trimus, you know. A hook time, a swear, Nina, so man to man, fine as she made Macuma edges of a penny pie, Bonachi, our DCK, no one Nigerian, and also no last I say, ya, ye be no, okay, I am, you know, me nay, ye me, ya was so sa, it may catch me in your back, was in your maiden and sarcum, and I'm Amy, me not to go roof, ye know, I say. Me to her pen me to my dani me na no e free her me na no a nyam me ye biom be pion sabre e adia e radia ya ma me we de nyam me amen amen. Our sister had a problem with her finger. She was operated upon. As a result of that, the finger became stiff. But through the prayer of the man of God, as he came for GCK, the Lord touched her now. The, hand, the finger is loose. She can use it as, as she want. Again, he had problem on the kneel, but miraculously through the man of God, the kneel is gone. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. I said, put your hands Hallelujah. together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Me na ma bla bo nye, ma bla bo fi, en san nom, en to kwa, en ni nye ma en se fata, anana me ye. Na mi mpo na ma weche se, obi kura mpo me feme, se wabe fame de me akwa kwa tena ni fi mpo aware me. Me ni na musa, na da ku mi ko e ngule mu, mi wasa ada me fun o bele, ana me fa a fun o no. A fele mi, wobi kenya mi asa mu chile me, nu wo kenya mi asa mu chile wasi sa chila wabla bo, nu wasa chila wabla bo wa ka wo mle ka kra bi wo be wu na me si eh ni we de hwan na e kenya me asem ra ofa wo fri na wo te he na wo kenya me asem kire wo se me de no ana ma ka kire ro se wo ansa kire wa bra bo afo abra bo amo nya me a aka wo mle ka kra bi wo be wu ana me de me ba fie me be kan e wo se me se me ko asori me ko roman wo se na wo nya a wo ma ye se me se urade urade na be ko osura ye mem kire wo ye de agya no ape de and Fenya me so fun war war, Wabella boy and Yeno, none of Mrs. Sachera, F. Fido. It won't make us a be bare fear, no as a quarrel, so I'll be a freno, deeper life. I've heard a be bare fear, maybe we say, almost say, I'll swallow in a way and crass, I'll swallow, I'll swallow quite say, and I say, well, ma, we shan't tarry ye, while we are premen you over to me, I'll quite sorry no. And I'm a say, Melco, me too, Gidiana Mono, and a radius, yes, ye me, why ye me fair fair fair. Mentality eight ya me trousers and me near my name yen yin ame shirin yin ame ka mentality me yonu pe me di shenya me yen wenyam ene radies ye si e mi ama ene mi ya na me sen fatano be ma be wale mi ya ye me hua die a shenya me yen yin wenyam eti mi kanfu wa ma mo se nupa ma bro bo yin ame rade na mwa mo shen niye me ti yen ti ya eni niye me yen yin yin amu nye na fo ma bro bo ntue rade ko ne rade ebe ye bo busa di amu 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 our sister testified about her transformed life. She was living a terrible life, a drunkard and a fighter, but God intervened 
He had a message on her phone that he had short time to live. He should give her life to Christ. Eventually, he, she surrendered to Christ, attended this church, and God has transformed her. And by the grace of God, she has been married. Praise God. Hallelujah. Orchestra. Enter his gate with us given in my heart. I will enter. Let's his rejoice. Gate. Let's rejoice with the Lord. I will say, put your hands. Rejoice. The Lord is good. I will return. Turn and rejoice. I will enter. Enter his gate with us given in my heart. I will enter his courts with So I have Victoria Poku from Kaswa. Please. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Your friend Victoria Poku Mensa. Me didn't know. Mrs. Siate, say me, sir, by a sense, you be a dunumuni. Sisena Hamisach, yes, I'm your mother, be a ye, me to mean that. I do not do a map, brave papa, and son, I did not. I didn't ye, she may buy ye. Me men da, no. I'm not so funny, bomb pie, no. Me ni makuba yina di e chile se, ena di e me ni mayale sa. Ni anko pansu tsi e mi mpa ebo. Emra, wasofu wadi bo mpa e las, e yina ka amen, mi di amen. Efe mi di amen, ni vye, mi usa mi mo asade, mi mo emi dudu, du mi tu me na ye ntu. Afe mi kwa ya mi kodru fi, na rajun me da hano mo sa ane, mi vye ya mi se me kwa toilet, na mi sore ye. Mi sore sa me kwa toilet, mi tina toilet ni supe, ena mi huse mi vye fi, ma se aye den epie. Now the crown to me paint me the means I so when I'm a chain and miss eight. Now where they're mentioned on a me chiana. Miss me up here and a moja. Moja be brave. Sis I'm a meme that moja to me, sir. Cause I don't know moja to me, sir. Ama, I dear sign. If it's time, I feel him sister, I may go to a mint to me cotono. Now me, I do me to me coto. I feel me to me down down a me home. I feel that I mean to be yes, say I miss a sinner to me, yes, say. And why is I make cause I meet me yet? Say, say me to me, yes, say. Me to me, yes, say. And here they can say, Yanko Paya, Mammy, to be cast in Yanko Pen, Minam, Amen. Our sister is from Accra, Ghana. For 50 solid years, she has suffered excruciating waist pains. And by the power of the Holy Ghost, as the man of God ministered, last Saturday he was, she was touched. And by the grace of God, she went to toilet and the blood came out. And now she is totally delivered from 15 years of waste pain. Praise the Lord. Let's listen to online now. Great things God is doing online as we bring you this testimony. From Nigeria, Sister Julian Ama is testifying of the miraculous healing of her grandson, or chair from a sickness which has not been responding to treatment. She said, the sickness came with rashes all over his body and coughing of blood from the mouth and nose. But after the prayer of the man of God on Friday, he became normal from all coughing of blood from mouth and the nose stopped since then till today. He is completely whole. Praise the Lord. Sister Mariam, praise the Lord for God's healing. She's been having knee pains over the past few years. But to the glory of God, after the prayer of the convener, the knee pain is totally gone. Praise the Lord. Elizabeth Ajasa from Bavegri, Lagos State said, I want to testify of God's faithfulness in my life. Sometimes ago, I had body itching, especially after taking my bath. At the time, they told me it was infection. But I received my miracle in one of the GCK with Kumui. I want to return all glory to God. Indeed, he is a faithful God. Praise the Lord. And now we return to the moderating overseer. Yes, let's hear the next testimony, please.
The Lord is still moving in the camp. Okay, so this is Grace Edu from Weja. Please go. Praise the Lord. Me the radia sing. I'm here. I'm the case. See, I'm a me. Me join with me. See, I see. Now me what you are here. See, Tim. Some pompa na abo me trimo se dan yo min. Unhu ma ko hospital. Ma ko akawe hospital. Wama entimi anka ntemi se. Me pompa na abo anase den na yao. Na so den yako po adom. Saturday na. Papa bomb Payano and Paye de Larsono. Metis and Mitin Yamisha Yamisha Bama Kangina. A few woman me call Fiano. Mitin Yamia Bium by Pimonde. A draw way in a Yamisha, Namida Tosona, a Jaika cra. Fifty Saturday, the Pimonda make us a mean fed running your soup Bium and Timida Radia said Yamia de Cassias, I am Mammy. Amen. Amen. For 22 suffering years, our sister has gone through terrible pains of the head. She has applied all forms of medication without, without I mean, success. But last Saturday, God visited her through the man of God as he prayed. Instantaneously, the headache of 22 years gone. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Agnes Jewonu. I'm from Volta Region, Joap. And my testimony is this. I have been having this challenge from 18 years ago since I started having my menses. I've been feeling pain. So I went for a scan at the Merciful Hospital two times. They said there's water around my womb. And I went to a herbal clinic. They said there is a gas in my stomach. So I stopped going to hospital. And depending on um, uh, painkiller and hot water, when my menses want to come. So as we came to this program, Sunday, when we closed from uh, the morning service, we decided to go and pray. And as we are praying, I was feeling to vomit. So after the prayers, and I started vomiting. So in the evening, Sunday, when we came and the GS was praying, I, I can feel that the message is just coming. Like I, I am not feeling any pain again. And the moving object that has been moving around my abdomen, it just stopped and I, I don't feel any pain from that Sunday. I don't bath cold water when I'm in my menses, but I bath cold water and I was testing myself. From Sunday to now, I don't take any painkiller. I am free in the name of Put Jesus. Put your hands together this for the, the Lord. This is the same disease I killed my mother in 1997. But by the grace of God, I am healed of this disease. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The one who money ye so coffee chair. Now ye are no a Doctor Fua ki can send be bre. Bua wa wasi siyo janiem. Bua wa wasi frama janiem. Afedi onu ni awonye. Then sunyami a wanyen century ni nyami. Oba sa ishi mudi ya si. Na no kwezi adano. Osro ni anko pa di nisa kano. Ana yari ano eko. No wanya ni fa hundi wa Yesu Christo di mo. Amen. Oso di eba se siya. The next testifier. Praise the Lord. Pacho, your friend is Joyce Doku Jiwonu. Me fitakwa abosu this street. Pacho, where 2021? Me nyan osa. And ti, eya demonu, me feel good kwa. Symptoms be brave, ba. Me kwa hospital, mu ma mi dra. Me, me num kwa still. E remain the, e, ta na, e yalini sa, onko. And ti, eya me bon pa ya fa hon. And ti, oka de. Yes, be ba be program wo Ghana no. Ni na na mi de come pipe bomb. And it started there no. Ya ba e no. Message le ko do no. Mi di su amen amen. And it symptoms no. Sometimes mi tumi mi Saturday no. Mi tumi mbi e. Mi da mi sole mi Saturday three. Mi tumi nye mi Saturday mi tumi nye dempo. And so 
message you call you start the message no me give to amen amen to my soon na emu nyina shishi me nt amen amen na me give no e na dey me catch them there you saturday share there ne ma cause who body no share there bibia e okay ana me here me dey start come as what dey bibia me ya bia bibia call na me say ready me dance nt me no me dey no enye last prayer me do true preaching no e na me do me am my eyes am dey am here Our sister testified of God's intervention to, of healing of her ulcer for about two years now, which has troubled and disturbed her and uh, caused all kinds of inconveniences to her. But the mercy of God touched her. As the man of God was ministering, she has been totally delivered from this ulcer. We praise the name of the Lord. Orchestra. Immortal God, invincible Lord, immortal God, how great thou art. Immortal God, invincible Lord, immortal God, how great thou art. Immortal God, invincible Lord, immortal God, how great thou art. And let's testify. The next to testify is Daniel Akologo. Praise the Lord. I'm Daniel Akologo. I'm in Kumase. I'm here to testify to the glory of God. Uh, one year ago, I had a back pain out of lifting a heavy uh, metal. So I went to the hospital in Kumase Adventist Ahinsan, and uh, the doctor asked me for a scan, and I went for the scan. After the scan, I sent I sent it back to the doctor, and it was loss of lumbar lordosis. So the doctor gave me a medicine, and I took the medicine. After taking the medicine, uh, the, uh, the the pains came down. But after some months ago, I had the pains again. So now I was having the pains even. when I pro the program. So since I came to the program, I haven't prayed about the back pain. But today, I prayed God, uh, as pastor was ministering, he said, uh, everything we have brought here, we are not going back with the problems again. So I decided, uh, why shouldn't I pray? And this kind of pray, uh, this kind of pain is worrying me too much. So I decided to pray. And after pastor prayed, I felt that I am, I'm free, so now I can bend. Initially, I can bend, but now I can bend more better. And I want Praise to give God to the glory of God. Amen. Amen. You know, 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 Hallelujah. Amen. The next testifier. My name is Benjamin, and I'm from Nungwa, Teshi Nungwa Division, Nungwa Group, Nungwa Central Location. I began to feel pain in my right knee. I let it go. I did nothing about it because I thought it would go or vanish as time goes on. As time goes on, rather, it has spread my left knee and then my feet and my toes my feet began to swell and then as the day goes by and by i began to feel pain in my neck my shoulders my wrist my elbow almost all, every part of the body if i want to sit down i have to hold the chair before i sit on the chair if i want to lie down to sleep i have to 
hold something before I, I, I am able to lie down. Even when I want to walk, I, I need to hold something before I am able to walk to where I'm going to. And I did not even have money to go to hospital. And one month later, as the day goes by and by, I discovered that the uh, global crusade is approaching. So I decided that I will come and then as the GS is coming, hoping to receive my miracle. I came on the first day, I did not receive my miracle. On the uh, second day, I received my miracle without knowing him. That the Saturday, I discovered that the pain was coming down gradually, gradually. And up to now, I can walk, I can bend, I can sit without holding anything to the glory of God. May the name of the God be glorified in Jesus' name. Put your hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. Yemi ano abribina o chichiri nesini na fe pofri mwa o tise ni koto je eya ni ya o anfan ya shi e fri bako koka bako koka ni nai koka ni sa afe ni kwe duye nina na e hu chichino wa ya anko ye ye so o peso o da jiso so bibi mu o be chila siya jiso so bibi mu nen swa si dan ke rade Hallelujah. Amen. Put your hands together for the Lord. The next testifier. Praise the Lord. My name is Dr. Abuajima from Kumasi. I've had this gastric ulcer problem for the past 18 years. I've done several endoscopies, taking several expensive drugs, without any relief. I decided to come for the program yesterday and I believe God for healing. Today I went for the minister's conference. Usually by six o'clock I should eat, six a.m. I should eat. 